Alrighty, I've got a short stack here for you today who is lots of fun. And right now he's seeing something outside of our little tent here. His name is Maui. Look at him hiding back there. <laughs> he is ID number 85200427. And as you can see, kind of, he is a gray and white pity. He is about a year old. So this guy's really still just a puppy. Um, he came in as an owner sorter on July 15th because his a landlord issue, so I'm assuming they weren't allowed to have dogs, and found out they had a dog. Uh, but this guy, he is tons of fun. He's got lots of that fun puppy energy. He, he just wants to be near his person and just kiss and wag his tail and get affection. Um, just tail waggy all day long. And um, this guy, he's a little weary of other dogs that kind of come at him when he doesn't really know what they're intending. So he would do best as an only dog and maybe some group obedience classes um, so he can just kind of get used to other dogs being around and getting trained around other dogs. Anything else you want to tell us about this guy, Lord? <laughs> Like, he just wants to play. He's like, yeah, he's very, very playful. Hey, hey. Super playful puppy Super here. Super playful. Um, and, uh, you know, he, he, he just needs, uh, he needs a few boundaries. He needs some uh, training. And, uh, you know, like you mentioned, uh, you know, he, I think he could really do well in a group obedience class so that he can, he can get his, he can get his <laughs> obedience training, but he can also be around other dogs within a safe context yeah. and know that he's going to be okay. Yeah. The more, the more times that he has that experience, the more confidence he's going to have with other dogs. Yeah. You're seeing his, yeah, I know, you're seeing his little pity uh -huh. butt. <laughs> but yeah, that's really that's really what what he, he needs as far as like socializing and stuff. Definitely, he's gonna make a great um, exercise buddy. If yes. you like to hike or walk or run when it's not too too hot. Yeah, um, he'll be good for that. Um, these dogs tend to, you know, that he's a high energy guy, but I think it, you know, given his his build, these guys tend to have like short, intense bursts. Yeah. And then they are couch potatoes. So if you take them for, I think this is a dog that if you take him for a decent walk and stuff, yeah, he's gonna be he's gonna be set for the day. <laughs> He's been he's been cooped in up his, in his kennel. Yeah, yeah, he's been cooped up in his kennel for yeah. a while. So yeah. I'm going to be bringing him over to the exercise yard yeah. after this, so he can get his yah yahs out. <laughs> yeah, but all he wants to do is, right now is play and kiss. Right. right. <laughs> so so keep in mind that this is this is the most active and intense you're probably yeah. ever going to see this guy because he is fresh out of his kennel and he's been there for a little while. Yeah. Uh, but he's super loving. I would say, um, you know, having you know a home that's that uh, has large breed experience, or yes. is willing to really, really step up, because he, he, you know, like th this is very cute and stuff, but it's also a little dominant uh, behavior. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know, he, he, so he's he's, you know, it goes back to uh, setting boundaries. With, with Definitely. Dogs, yeah. So that he doesn't have to be worried that he's in charge of everything in the universe. Yeah, that yeah. you will take care of him. So, Definitely. go down and meet Maui. He's a really fantastic boy. And he's looking for somebody who's going to be his leader and his uh, mommy or daddy. Yeah. So, Aw, look at him. Aw, yeah, he's already tiring out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, come down to the Baldwin Park shelter and meet Maui. Bye, Maui.